Now we're calculating the pH after adding 5 milliliters of acid beyond the equivalence point. So we have to figure out how much acid we're adding here. The equivalence point was 29.2 milliliters of acid. 5 milliliters beyond is another <laughs> 5 milliliters which uh, should be 34.2 milliliters of acid. And then if we look at our, our equation, I'm sorry I haven't been real consistent with how I'm writing these out. There's our base and here's the acid. And we've got, we still have the 4.375 millimoles of base because we weren't adding any more but we've added more acid and so we have more than that we have 34.2 times the concentration of 0.15 we have 5.13 millimoles of acid And then these are going to react to form our salt and water. And so again, we, we take a stoichiometric view of this and we look at these. These are in moles. And this now is the smaller number of moles. So this is the limiting reactant. So all of that's going to get used up. And we're going to have none left. And we're going to use up the same number of moles of the acid. So we got 5.13 minus 4.375. So we have 0 0.755 millimoles of acid left. And we're going to form the same amount of the conjugate acid over here. So 4.375 millimoles. So we use stoichiometry in terms of moles or millimoles to figure out what's, what's going on. And then we have to convert this into concentrations and we have to make sure that we're using the correct volume. Our total volume is the amount of acid added plus the amount of base originally present. So we've got 34.2 plus 25, total of 59.2 milliliters. So divided by 59.2 milliliters and divided by 59.2 milliliters. So let's figure those out. 0.755 divided by 59.2 0 0.01275 molar and 0 0.07390 molar. So this, this is the concentration of the conjugate acid and this is the concentration of hydronium ion, or hydrogen ion. And now we need to clear this out and do an equilibrium calculation. So at the equivalence point and after for titration of a weak base, we think of it as an acid. So here's our acid the CH3NH3+, that's the acid, and a Ka gives us the acid dissociation. That as conjugate acid will dissociate into the original base plus hydrogen ion. And we determined the Ka earlier to be uh, 2. 2727 two, times 10 to the minus 11. So down here, I've got the concentrations that we figured out. We're going to use those as our initial concentrations. So the initial concentration of the conjugate acid 
is 0 0.07390 molar. The initial concentration of base is 0 and of acid is of the H plus is 0 0.01 275. So I'm going to erase these things at the bottom and get them out of the way. Or I'm going to try to. Now we think about the change. Well, it can either go to the right or to the left, but we can't go to the left because we don't have any of this base. So the equilibrium is going to go to the right and the change will be minus x here and plus x there. If you did it the other way, um, it would still work out. You just end up with a negative x, and when you plugged it in, it would be fine. So that's our change. Then our equilibrium concentration, 0 0.07390 minus x. And this is x. And this is 0. Great, I had another internet hiccup. <sighs> Equilibrium, 0 0.07390 minus x. This will be x, and this will be 0 0.01275 plus x. And plugging those into the equilibrium expression for Ka, we get x times 0 0.01275 plus x divided by 0 0.07390 minus x being equal to 2.2727 times 10 to the minus 11. And then we solve for x. So x equals x equals 1.317 times 10 to the minus 10. On YouTube, right? So that is x. What we need is the hydrogen ion concentration, which is 0 0.01275 plus x. So let's just be a little creative in here. Plus uh, 1.317 times 10 to the minus 10. Um, we can see in this case we could have used the x's small approximation. Um, we would have been just fine. So that's going to end up being 0 0.01275 still. So negative base 10 log of 0 0.01275. And we get a pH of 